Hey, good morning. And, and yes, today is our Bible study and I hope you're a part of it because for some of this, we will continue to manage parts of it. But again, we have Romans chapter 5 and verse 17. And I just want to read the last section of the verse. It says, for all who receive it, live in triumph over sin and death through this one man, Jesus Christ. And I'm studying, what would they have received? They would have received God's wonderful grace. I tell you what, because I lack the ability to overcome personally, it means I need help. If I'm drowning out there, even though I have the ability to swim, but I've caught a cramp or something like that, or I've been bitten by a fish, you know that even though I have ability, I do not have sufficient to get me to safety. And therefore I need help. Just like that, we need someone who would have made the decision to come rescue us. It's by that person's grace that we're here. Again, I want you to take a look at my background. There are all kinds of things happening. Doorways to the left, doorways to the right, passageway, things to the front, light is coming. And I say to you, the reason I've brought myself into this environment is simply to say, without God's wonderful grace, the confusion of my past will impact my future. And I do not want God to be to be another part of my future. I want him to be the singular most important part of my future. And because of that, I've got to get God's grace. I've got to get God's wonderful grace. And once I've gotten that, then I triumph over sin and death. It's clearly indicating that without God's grace, I'm lost. My friend, my brother, that's where I change my mind towards God and in so doing, I change my mind towards sin and clearly avoid death, at least the spiritual death. I hope you get this this morning because before you walk out of your house, I want you just to kneel by the side of your bed or stand over the coffee table and simply say to God, you know, I've messed up. I've messed up my own life. Now I need you. Come save me from this mess.